sing that shit. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dio again with another video, so if you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime I release a video. So just in case you've missed the part 1 of this video, a link, a link would be dropped in the description box, so you go click on the link and check the new, the first video out. So I'll be filling the sketch with my base color. I'll be filling the sketch with my base color just in case you don't know how to um, create color palettes and from references um, a link will be dropped in this description box also and also it will be dropped at the top right corner of this video so click on the link to check it out so I'll be filling it gradually with my felt pen too so the names of the brushes I used in this video will be in the description box box also and also the names will also be displayed on your screen so gradually fill up the the base color on a new layer so after filling up the base color on a new layer then, then you uh, duplicate your reference photo and take it up to the top make sure it's at the top of your new layer that's for the new layer for your base color for your um, highlight for your for your work just make sure your reference is at the top just think for those people using Android phone so if you're using Android phone just duplicate the layer of your photo so that it will be more easier for you to to see and sheet so but for those people using iPad or iPad Pro and for those people using laptops on Autodesk Sketchbook, there's a way they can split the screen into two to see the reference. And if there's a way you can just see the reference, then paint is okay. You mustn't duplicate the layer, the reference layer, and take it to the top. So this is just a trick on how to um, easily paint, to easily paint on full so presently i'm just creating the color palette um from the reference i've done a video on that so a link will be um dropped in the description box and also at the top right corner of this video so if you want to learn how to um create color palettes you can just click on the link and check it out i'll also be dropping a new video on how to create color palette on pro procreate for ipad ipad pro so i will be dropping the new video probably end of this month or next month so I'll, i've now created my color palette for this particular painting all we have to be, to do now is to create a new layer and shift it up to the top of our paint layer and also under our reference so we are going to be using the dark shade we are going to be using diverse dark sheets. There, there's the first dark sheet, then the second dark sheet, and also there's a, a reddish um, tone. So it depends on how you shade. But you, basically, I'm going to be using like two different dark sheets because of the reference. The reference is a dark is, is a very black man. So we're going to be using so many dark sheets on this particular reference. So presently, I'm using the first dark sheet, and also I'm trying to like copy exactly what is on the reference we are going to we, mo we are not going to be doing like a super realistic painting today we are just going to like do a semi-realistic painting but um we'll make sure it resembles our reference so we are trying to like paint exactly but not exactly 100% exactly so we're just doing a semi-realistic painting so presently I'm using my hat airbrush so just try and concentrate on the video um, concentrate on the video and see how I um, copy the the shadows on the face and copy the shadows on the face using my hard airbrush so then the names of the brushes are, as i've already said 
um will be dropped in the description box so you go check it out so all you need to do is just to concentrate and look at where the shadows um, falls on the face and where the highlights and the highlights and also the middle tone falls on the face so as you can see i'm just doing exactly what i've seen so make sure you just try and check where the dark sheets falls on the face just try and concentrate and check so i'll advise you not to go too dark with the sheets at first so i would advise you to go uh, more lighter so um i think if you are not good at um reducing um opacity and working on low opacity you can also use the soft airbrush i think it's more lighter than the hard airbrush so it will give you more control of your sheets so just select the soft airbrush if you're not good at shading with in high opacity so the soft airbrush is going to help you a little bit because it doesn't um go more t go too thicker compared to um the hard airbrush so just reduce the opacity of your uh, soft airbrush and just reduce it to like um to like 30 just reduce it to like 30 30 percent then you should so just in case you're a new you're new to this channel and you're a complete beginner um and you've been wondering what i, I am doing right now so this is called digital venting and also um i've done a complete beginner's tutorial on this channel the link will be in the description box so you go check it out just click on the link and download the video or you can watch the video till the end and make sure you concentrate and you listen to the voiceovers and and just watch the video just give your full concentration on the video so you can ask me questions in my my social media platforms you can just follow me on instagram at diogfx and follow me on facebook as at diogfx just the same name so you can just ask me questions over there i'll give you a reply i will give you critiques on my on on your work and i'll also give you corrections and also tips on how to improve so just in case you're a complete beginner you're welcome
so guys as you can see we are done with our dark our first dark shade so we're going to the second dark shade now we're going to be using a more darker color for the shade so we are going to dark we are going to dark now so i'm i'm using a new layer now i'm presently using a new layer so i have selected my color my dark darker shade so i'm still using my hard airbrush so we are going to be going to darker now so we're going to be shading the darker parts of the reference so make sure you just try and have control of the opacity and the brush you're using so let's try and shade the darker the darkest part of the reference so we are, we are now on the second dark um shade so we've, we've just finished the first dark shade we are doing the second dark shade so basically i'm i'm using a two dark um shadow and a dark color a um, dark sh a shade color for this tutorial so uh, i'm just trying to show you how i i shade the dark parts of the reference So guys, we are literally done with our uh, dark shading. So what up next is um, texturing. We're going to be texturing this particular reference. So we are looking for the dotted two brush. So the, the brush I'm going to be using for our texturing is the dotted two brush. Dotted two brush. The name will be displayed on your screen and also the name of the brush will be in the description box so the dotted two brush is a perfect brush for this particular um, reference so now we're going to be selecting a white a darker color for the for the texturing and also make sure you reduce the opacity of your dotted two brush make sure also it's on the new layer so you apply the dotted two brush all, all over the face of the reference make sure you are using a darker color a, da a dark shade the, the dark shade you, you you used for your shading that's what you're going to be using for your texturing so after you're done texturing on a new layer so this is what we call dark dark texturing there's a lighter texturing for the highlights so we're going to be doing the lighter texturing so after after you're done applying the darker texture we're going to be applying a blending mode a blending mode so i think we're going to be using our soft lights 
uh, soft light blend mode it gives a good a very nice texture of the um, to the skin so up next i'm going to be creating a new layer for our lighter our lighter texture that's the that's for the highlights the texturing for the highlights on the face so we are also going to be using the dotted stool brush for all for the for the texturing of the face also so we're going to be applying it but on the using this um the for the lighter um and texturing uh, not going to be applying it all over the face you're going to be applying it selectively like you're going to be applying it in a particular area a lighter part only for the lighter part don't apply it all over the reference just apply it in the lighter part of the reference just to pop out the skin texture of the lighter part of the reference don't apply it all over the reference so take notes don't apply it all over the reference just apply it around the lighter part of the reference so make sure and make sure it's at the top of your shadow your shading and make sure it's also at the top of your dark texture so create a new layer for it and also lock it So after you're done with the texturing of the lighter parts of the face, we're going to be selecting a plain mode and we're going to be using our soft glue. It pops out um, the texture, the lighter texture of the face. So we're going to be selecting our eraser, our soft eraser to clean up some places that are off on the painting, so uh, on the texturing. So just use your soft eraser presently i'm using the soft eraser to like clean up some um, places that are inappropriate so just clean up So I later found out that the soft glue is not giving me what I want for the skin texture. It's somehow giving me something different. So that's why I um I attempted like I tried and changed and that's why I changed the skin blend mode to screen. So you can just change it to screen. I think it's much more better than the soft um glue. So I change it to screen as you can see it's giving more natural look than the soft glue.
so after you're done with your texturing create a new layer under your, your um, texture the text, texturing layer then um, you select your airbrush then you start um, highlighting you just highlight the lighter parts of the face just make sure you, you select an a soft airbrush or you can also use a hard airbrush for a strong light on the on the highlights the you can just use any of these brushes for the highlighting so it depends it's up to you they are almost the same thing the harder uh, airbrush is just giving a more thicker um, opacity while the soft airbrush is giving a more lighter opacity so it depends on you but you can also be op um, be increasing the opacity and applying the, the, the highlights on the face that's all so i've done an intense tutorial on the highlighting and the rest so um, if you like this video just click on the um, like button and also click on the subscribe button and, and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime i release a new video so thanks for watching thank you guys for watching and also you can comment down below if this video helps you thank you see you in my next video bye